Well, it looks like my local police have found another spot to go hide in. A little dead end parking lot here, private property, of course. Uh, let's see what we got here. Number 14. I just turned it on. I've been here for about 10 minutes. <clears throat> kind of hoping he would get rolling here. But it looks like he's not going anywhere. So I figured I'll start filming. an occupational health kind of place where you can get your physicals and stuff. Right now it's just a, a few people here that may work here still. Uh, it's a nice quiet spot to hide. And see the problem I have is, you know, if you're gonna do nothing or what they call paperwork in the computer age, um, then do it out in the open. Do it out there in case someone needs you, they can drive by, they'll see you're there. Stuck back here where nobody will find you only means you're, you're just doing something you shouldn't be doing. Be out in the open. Be ready for action. Be ready in case somebody needs you. How is someone going to find your way back here if they need you? Okay? I mean, seriously. Unbelievable. This shows you got like, well, you keep on hiring cops. There's not one bit of crime in this town. Such a quiet, quiet town. We do have a big mall, you know, but the biggest thing for the local police is they have to go pick up a criminal who shoplifted after the guards at the mall caught them. So, I mean, please, no wonder they're always back hiding, sleeping, doing nothing, wasting taxpayers' money. And it's at least one hundred and ten to one hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year doing sitting like that. Is all the crime solved in Upper Marion? Uh, I mean, this is uh, everything's good to go, I guess, huh? Well, I know that not to be true, and I know that these guys just love to just do nothing all day because there's nothing to do. So I guess I gotta go to the council meeting again and let them know. There we go again. Such a quiet town, and and there is absolutely nothing for all these officers to do. Zero. Zero zero. So we'll see. It's been around 20 minutes. Um, I, I guess 15, 20 minutes. We'll see where it goes. Today is 8.25, 17. It's around 4.20 in the afternoon. So I'm pulling here, you know, as I was driving down the road. Knew there was nothing back here besides an empty lot. Knew he was coming back here to hide. So, knew I was right, too.
Uh, it's a shame too. We, you know, we spend a lot of money, a lot of taxes, school tax, property tax. Turns out the police force takes over half of all the taxes collected from the township for their services. Over half of all the taxes collected in Upper Marion go to the police force. And here's what your taxes pay for. Day after day, week after week, month after month of this. All the time. I, I, I have so many videos that I haven't posted of this. Uh, I guess I gotta go talk to the chief again in the council. And he knows he sees me up here. He knows he's busted. And the funny part is, he don't give a shit. He couldn't care less if someone's videotaping, holding them accountable for their actions and for taxpayer money. Usually they're sitting still probably two thirds of their shift. I should do a uh, public records request on the mileage per shift per day on the vehicles. It shows that they sit two thirds of their shift. You know, being out in the open also deters crime. So if a criminal is about to do something devious and they see a cop parked out in the open, and they're, they're probably not going to do that devious crime with a cop right by. But since these cops love to hide in, in very obscure, desolate areas where no one can find them, I guess a criminal can do whatever crime they want and by the time the cop shows up, they're long gone. So therein lies the problem. I'm not anti-cop, I'm very pro-cop. I'm anti-bad cop, bad politician, bad person. And I like to hold my public officials accountable like everybody should be doing. If everybody held these guys accountable, they wouldn't be back here sleeping, sitting, playing, jerking off. They'd actually be out doing their job. Now think of it this way. You go get your car, you go to work, clock in, go get your car, and go sit somewhere for hour after hour after hour. And let me know if your boss doesn't come looking for you. And let me know if once your boss finds you doing absolutely nothing all day, that he doesn't warn you, and then if it continues, fires you. So this is the same thing. They clock in, they're getting paid real good money, and this is all they do. So, th th therein lies my problem. And unless Sleepy changed his truck, he's number 52, this is 14. Can't really see who's in it. I'll do a records request and find out who had truck number 14 today. Unless I go up and say hi. Ask him what he's doing parked on private property. I'm sure he's doing paperwork and, and catching up with all of his reports. <laughs> uh, such nonsense. So there you have it. Like I said, it, it just never stops because I'm the only one out here holding these guys accountable. I, I wish the city council would hold them accountable. I wish the police chief would hold them accountable. But as you see, it's been going on ever since I've started filming them. I am brought it to city council. I have brought it to the chief's attention. And the only thing that changes is they're no longer parking under the target parking lot. And they find new hiding places. And here's one of them. 
So I guess it's like cat and mouse. We, we, we play where's your new hiding spot today instead of thank you for doing your job honorably and, and properly and not wasting taxpayer money. Nope, ain't nothing like that. And that's why I, I film and hold them accountable because they're not accountable and they do fuck off all the time. So, if you're going to steal taxes out of my pocket, and remember everybody, taxation is pure theft. And uh, if you're going to steal money from my pocket for services, then I, I want to see some service. So, that's why I do it. Okay? For all you cop suckers out there, that, you don't like cops, you, you leave them alone. I'm not bothering anybody. I'm sitting here quite a distance away, monitoring what your public officials do on public time. And from the 50, 60 videos I have, the answer to that question is not much. shame. It really is. It's a real shame. You pay these guys good money. I mean, real good money. Chief is about 150, 160 a year. Most officers are in the high 90s to 110, 120 a year. And uh, they just keep on hiring more and more and more. It's insane. It's probably 10 to 12 officers on each shift minimum. There's like some of 70 officers. So, yeah, it's about right. Small, quiet town. Patrolling would be nice, too. You can always get out there and patrol and drive up and down neighborhoods and through, you know, in, uh, businesses and show your presence and let people know that, that you're around and if they need help, stop you and, and, and if the criminals see you, they might move on to somewhere else. But hiding back here, you're not deterring anything. You're not monitoring anything, you're not deterring anything. And some will say it's good that they're back here hiding so they don't give out tickets and all this other victimless crime, you know, money generating crap. You know what, I guess, you know, pros and cons with everything. I'd rather see them out there doing their job. I'm going to have to edit this video, I guess. I mean, it could be an hour before this guy moves. <clears throat> Could be two hours before this guy wakes up. Well, I've been here for probably 20, 22 minutes. He was back here probably another minute or two before I showed up. And I didn't start filming for a while. I just monitored, sat back and watched for about 10 minutes. He's been here a good half hour easily. And I understand they need to break and they have lunch and dinner and things like that and that's fine and in all honesty if I'm getting paid I'll eat my dinner at my desk or my lunch at my desk out in the open next to my phone in case someone needs me or I'm gonna clock out and go get lunch or and go eat somewhere so I'm not on the clock so I'm not being paid so 
these little criminals and terrorists. They can do whatever they want, whenever they want. And remember, people, we're their bosses. They're the servant. And it's time we all st stood up and, and started holding these people accountable for their actions. Well, here it's lack of action. It's a real shame. filming for almost 15, uh, 16 minutes now. And believe it or not, I did show up prior. I just didn't feel like wasting my battery. Because I knew this would be the case. Just sitting here, half hour after half hour after half hour. <laughs> 